So we're going to start, right? I guess if you want to start, you guys, you guys want to start? Let's start. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. Well, I always say I'm ready, but I'm not. Hey, everybody. It's me, Tom Dalton from the smash hit Emmy award winning PBS TV show under the radar. And we have some special guests today. So why don't we do a roll call? Tom Dalton. Jim Edelman. Jill Tuesley. Kim Roney. <laughs> and we are here today to talk about the awesome city of Milan, Michigan. Um, and there's a, a really cool, very creative event going on there that I want to get to. But before we get to that, give us the, your elevator speech. I mean, I'll press like floor number 71. <laughs> um, what people need to know about Milan and why they need to go there. Um, so first of all, thank you for pronouncing the name of the city, right? One of the things people need to know about Milan is how to say Milan, right? <laughs> it's not Milano. <laughs> it is not Milano, but, <laughs> but Milan it is. Um, we are a lovely little community with um, a two block historic downtown located right off of US 23, kind of midway between Ann Arbor and Toledo, a little bit closer to Ann Arbor. Um, historic downtown with beautiful old buildings and a lot of new retail um, mix within the last uh, five years or so. So some fun shopping to do. An original uh, original Gravity, which is a famous brew pub. So if you like to get out on the brewery circuit, uh, that is a place to hit. And um, a fabulous one of a kind bakery called Life is Sweet Bakery and Cafe. Um, we are about a 6,000 population in city proper. Um, and um, just um, um, a, a lovely little community that's kind of burgeoning right now with a lot of fun and interesting things to do. One little interesting historic point, I think, is that we have, um, uh, we were um, one of a Henry Ford Village community. So there's some of the original historic buildings from the Henry Ford days. Um, hmm. There was a soybean factory here and he produced paint for his vehicles in our, in our town. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think over the last 10 years, uh, Michigan Main Streets and towns are re being re-energized and rediscovered and mm -hmm. revamped and redone just and because I think young people especially are reconnecting with our downtowns because they want to belong to something. They want that sense of mm -hmm. place. And they want they want to be a part of something instead yeah. of just being out in a big grid like they're, all of us were for so many years. So, um, yeah, I've heard wonderful things about what's going on down there. Yeah, thank you. And the, the word connection is really important to us. In fact, that's part of the city motto, connect with what matters. And I think that's made all of the difference um, lately is really giving people something to connect to, um, not just uh, with people and neighbors, but uh, within the community itself. Tell us about what's coming up, because this is what kind of puts you guys on our radar to do this Zoom is the um, is the art doors. Jill and I, you know, we, we wrote out the pandemic and we're trying to support our businesses and our community. And um, that just changed the vibe of many things. And it, it, the whole idea came, um, was early last summer, I wanna say, I was having coffee with an artist friend and she had a, this painted door in her, hanging in her garage. And I commented on it and she said, oh yeah, that's from a community art project, you know, many, many hundred years ago, whatever. And so um, it just started kind of percolating. And I mentioned her, I thought, I think, I think my town would like something like that. You know, it's an upcycled thing. It's, uh, it's people can get doors on um, people. It's nostalgic for home. And a lot of people are shut in doors. And I kept Im imagining coming out of the pandemic and opening the door and going to outside and experiencing outside. And what a wonderful thing for the community to do to make something interesting outside so that we could all walk, jog, drive by an experience. And, um, for me, because the chamber is kind of the 48160, which is the greater footprint, my vision for it was that it would not be just in one part of our community, but be something that you could find in a few, in several different locations. So bouncing that idea off my, my uh, partner over here, Jill, and she coined the, just very quickly came up with this snappy name because she goes, she thinks like that, the great art doors. <laughs> I think one of the cool things about the concept is it can involve so many different layers of the community. So the general idea is that um, somebody 
uh, gets a door, they paint on it and we install it in one of um, about eight to 10 locations across the, the community. And there are so many layers in which people can participate. There are people that say, I'm not an artist, but I have a door that I took out of my house. I wanna donate a door. And we've had almost 80, maybe closer to 90 doors donated so far. Um, that are in various styles um, that people are going to be able to then purchase and paint um, with whatever moves them um, and we'll position them throughout town and and um, I think it's really fun because it will also attract people to our community. Let's come, we're looking for something to do. Let's come walk around and look at these creative doors. Um, and we have interest from children all uh, um, to adults um, and in various degrees of artistic talents. Well, I personally, I'm really, really excited about this just because I think it's such a wonderfully creative idea. Um, if people want to get involved in this, how can they? So uh, there are a couple of ways that they can get all the information with the direct links. There is um, a Facebook page called The Great Art Doors that has all the links on it. And then you can also go to um, mylandmainstreet.info and there's a tab on there to click on for The Great Art Doors so they can see all the information. Um, but the best way for them to participate right now it, um, is to, they can purchase a door for $100 or if they're providing their own door, it's $90. Um, and then we provide them with paint materials and even studio sessions where they can come in to um, a community location and paint their door so they don't have to take it back and forth with them because that's a big hefty thing to haul back and forth. But one of the other things that we're asking people to consider right now is there are a lot of um, um, we have a lot of um, starving artists and young artists that want to participate and the $100 entry fee right now is a little bit more than what they can do. So we're asking um, people to be a patron to those artists and you can buy a door as a patron. You have no obligation to paint it. We'll match that door to an artist that wants to, to paint the door. Oh, that's that's great. actually that's a great. great thing to do because if I painted a door, people would <laughs> You would close it immediately, put a screen door. Right. <laughs> so if, if for someone like me, it would be great. It would be better for me to donate and have a real artist. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's not just for artists. Like our, our vision too is, you know, could be a Girl Scout troop, could be uh, the girl swim right. team, could be, um, we have a, a wonderful philanthropic organization in Milan called Greater Milan Area Foundation. I know they're working on collaborating to make a door. Um, and they asked a great question, which is, can, is it just painted or can we adhere things to the door? And we say, hey, as long as it can stick outside and work and the weather, hold, you know, holds together in the weather, it's all open. Well, in, well, in closing, Jim and I have been secretly texting each other back and forth. <laughs> and we have decided that we would like to sponsor a door for $100. Um, but <laughs> Fantastic. We, need, we need your help finding an artist because we ain't none not too good at art. <laughs> we will absolutely match you to an artist. In fact, we have um, a lot of um, our high school students right now are really interested in um, finding somebody to help sponsor them. We will find you a perfect match. <laughs> as long as they can spell U-T-R, that's all I care about. <laughs> I think they can do that. <laughs> so give us a quick uh, rundown. This, uh, this, when will we start to see doors popping up? So the doors will start to be installed in um, about the mid-June. Um, okay. the, the, we have a big fair that takes place in the park in town in early June. So we have to get that all cleared out before we install that. But they'll, they'll start going up mid-June and they will be installed through the end of August. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. So one more time, how, if people want to get involved, where do they go? MylanMainStreet.info or the Great Outdoors Facebook page. And if people want to visit a great Michigan Main Street, where do they go? They go to Milan, Michigan, Milan Main <laughs> <you> Street. <laughs>